everybody welcome back to my channel what's up hi if you're new had to move my wallet actually this let me bring you guys a little bit closer for today's video i wanted to do what my typical mornings look like so a morning routine just so you guys can kind of see i mean for the most part all my videos are vlogs anyways and you guys see what i do every day but I wanted to dedicate a full video, maybe go a little bit more into detail about what I do in the mornings. First off, I have my grapefruit. Not gonna lie, I usually am like a creature of habit, okay? Like routine, I love. And before I was traveling to all these places, I had a pretty solid like, routine going on and now I'm not gonna lie it's been a little it's been a little tricky since coming back going back into the routine one because it's a little cold outside now so like I am a sun girl like when the sun is out I'm out okay like bright and early but because fall is upon us and don't get me wrong I love fall I love our pumpkin spices but um I just would rather not run when it's cold outside. So that part of my routine has been, you know, a little tricky. But either way, we're getting back into our routine because we got to. We literally have to. I am cutting up my grapefruit right now. And I'm probably going to make some protein pancakes as well. So excited for because usually in the mornings, I will wake up, not eat anything and go for a run, but I decided because the weather's changing, I wanna find my fall routine and I don't necessarily think I want to be running outside in the cold right now. So we're just gonna like experiment. This is an experimental morning routine, okay? And you guys are coming along with me. Let's see if it works. So we're gonna eat in the morning. I went to bed in a full sweatsuit. I don't know what, I don't know what was happening because usually I get so hot, but I fell asleep and woke up in a sweatsuit. It's from Aritzia. I actually love this sweatsuit so much and I wear it a lot in the winter. You can tell that I wear these more than this because I wash these more often. So the colors are kind of different, but whatever. They're from Aritzia. I love them. So yeah, this is what I'm going to try and do in the mornings is eat grapefruit. Grapefruit is so good for you in the morning. It Eating a whole grapefruit will have your full dose of vitamin C that you need for the day, which is amazing. And pancakes, of course. Protein, baby. I'm actually not that into protein. Like, I don't count anything anymore when it comes to protein. Ooh, we need more. Pancake pancakes. When it comes to protein, I am not as crazy as it used to be. And usually I'll opt for in the mornings a green tea. But I think because we have so many little lemons and ginger, I might have hot lemon ginger water to start off my day. I just filmed that whole thing the wrong way. You know what I have to do? Eventually, I'm going to have to try and upgrade and get myself a camera because I'm using my phone and I can't see. So that whole clip that I just recorded was facing the opposite direction, which is cool. This is flour, not pancake mix. So I have this bowl of flour, water and cinnamon powder. So um, that's cool. We are going to dump this out. <laughs> And we're gonna start again. So my like aesthetic morning routine video that I thought I was gonna have, this is the reality. I will be right back with actual pancake mix. I eat my grapefruit at this time. While I'm cooking my pancakes, I eat my grapefruit. I get juice everywhere. That's the main point. Make sure you get all over your laptop. Mm, 
yum. Let's eat. Something about these pancakes don't taste right. When I was making them, the color's a little bit off and I was like, maybe it's because of the cinnamon. know what this is this also flour on the plus side I made my lemon water with my smiley face um my brain is not working this morning cup I can't I couldn't think of the word cup my smiley face cup I'm just brain dead in the morning, I think. Now we're left with the salad I made because the, those pancakes did not. Here we are. We're just gonna go with it, you know? I have nothing else in this house and I need to eat because I have a bar class in like an hour, a little bit over an hour. So I need to eat food, but salad for breakfast perfect second order of business i have to put all these clothes away so let's do that and then put workout clothes on the problem with today and just fall in general it gets so gloomy outside it's so dark I'll be completely honest, when the weather gets like this, I'm never in moods to like film or do anything because it's so dark. Like I am such a sun girl. I need the sun to like fuel me. That's my energy. But because it's so gloomy, I'm just like going to figure out how to make this lighting better for you guys. But I wish I was at the beach right now. Like why can I live somewhere? <laughs> where it's nice all day, every day, 365 days of the year. This is one of my dreams in life. One of my dreams that will come, it will become a reality someday, is to live somewhere where it's nice 24 seven. Well, basically summer all year round. Like the gloominess reminds me of London and I don't know how people do it. I really don't. Like, it's gorgeous. The The town, the city is gorgeous. It's just gloomy all the time. Rains all the time. Anyways, but I'm done with my tangent. I'm going to finish <laughs> um, folding my clothes and put on a cute workout outfit. Head to my bar class. For anyone who doesn't know what bar is, because I think I mentioned it last time and didn't really explain. Bar is basically a combination of Pilates and ballet. Not too much yoga, but it's very, it's low impact, but it's slow controlled movements, which I love right now. I, that is my workout of choice of the day. We're experimenting with new things. For anyone who has followed me, like, for years now, you would know that I was basically a weightlifter. Like, I would lift every single day. And it was almost like an addiction. I loved it. I was in the best shape I've ever been in my entire life. And once I started working on cruise ships, random fact, but again, that's part of what happened is once I started working on cruise ships and didn't really have access to like a squat rack heavy weights I kind of shifted my um workout routine because I just couldn't lift the same anymore so when I got home after I left which is a whole nother story if you guys want to know <laughs> about my cruise ship experience I'll make a separate video for it but that kind of changed everything and then I started doing more running because it was nice outside it was the beginning of summer 
more low impact. Um, lots more yoga, which I did do yoga before I left as well. Hot yoga specifically. Just got more into it. And especially because I taught yoga classes too on while I was working on the cruise ship. I just got more into it. So yeah, I mean, that led me to where I am today where I haven't lifted in a long time, like a couple months, I would say it's been a long time. But honestly, sometimes your body needs that body needs like a little shift. I'm not saying I will never not lift again, because lifting really did get me in like the best shape I've ever been. Sometimes it can be too much. Sometimes the gym scene and the weightlifting scene can be a little daunting, can be a little bit intimidating, which I get for some people. So I want to be that person like that people can come to and talk about like their gym experience. Like most girls haven't lifted heavy weights and kind of just done workouts here and there. Those are my girlies. And I always get asked these questions like, what got you into weightlifting? Do you like it? Like, do you get bulky? All this stuff. But anyways, going off on a tangent here, needless to say, I can make a whole separate video on that. I have so many opinions. And, um, yeah, I'll make a whole separate video eventually on that because that is something I do want to talk to you guys about. But for now, that's where I'm at. So I'm doing bar today. So <laughs> yeah, that's the tea I just spilt. Doing my laundry. Let's go put it out on. We are ready for bar. I'm wearing my Lulu sports bra and just some biker shorts from Aerie. And we are headed out the door. I'm just going to put something to cover <laughs> because it's cold. So, yes, that's my fit. Now, let's see if I record in bar. It's my first time at this location, so I don't know. But we'll see. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am back from, oh my bracelet, I am back from bar, I am gonna shower now, and I, for some reason I'm craving tomato soup and grilled cheese, I hate tomatoes, but for some reason it sounds really good, so I'm like, do I get tomato soup do I make I don't even know how it probably sounds stupid but it reminds me of that one time when I went to dinner with my friends <laughs> and I ordered calamari for myself and I hate any seafood like I don't like fish everyone at the table was like why are you ordering calamari if you don't even like eat fish I'm like to be honest I don't know it sounded good at the time because when I take little bites here and there, when people like basically peer pressure me to take a bite and I don't want to seem like, you know, I'm a chicken finger and fries girly, even though I am. I take little bites and I'm like, oh, the calamari is actually not bad, but I cannot eat a full plate. So anyways, that just reminded me of it, but I don't know if I'm going to make tomato soup. I'm probably just going to have grilled cheese and like... Chicken noodle soup, because that's like what I'm addicted to right now. But I want to thank you guys so much for coming on my morning with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. More videos to come, of course, and I've been making more shorts. So you guys should definitely check out my shorts. Um, and also my long YouTube videos, of course. But love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles! <laughs>